Hello, welcome back to another T-Read, Treed, Treed FL, Treedful, whatever you might want to call it, video. Today we're discussing how to dress in 2023. This is a very important and interesting topic this year because in years past, it was a lot easier to sort of fit in with the overall scheme of what was going on in fashion that year. And I don't mean just blindly following trends, I mean seeing what the trends are and adapting them to your own taste. The last decade has seen the rise and fall, and then rise again, and then fall again, of a number of really significant trends. We had the hipster era, we had the hypebeast era with a ton of really cool sneaker culture, we had workwear, what else, Y2K, parachute pants recently, gorbcore, a ton of different things that are relatively easy to characterize and then were very easy to adapt to each of our styles. Because as much as it's important to be an individual with how you dress, it's also important to see what's going on in the fashion world and take some inspiration from that. This year we can no longer just buy a pair of double knees or a pair of skinny jeans like way back in the day and be considered cool anymore. It has been an absolutely wild year in fashion so far. We've had Mischief with their big red boots. We've had J.W. Anderson with the frog shoes, which I actually think are pretty cool. We've had Rick Owens with the giant, like, not-looking puffers. Pharrell is now the creative director of Louis Vuitton, which I think will be very interesting. It's been an absurd, interesting, bizarre, kind of silly but very cool fashion year so far. So where does that leave the everyday person who is dressing to look cool, but might not be super entrenched in high fashion? In addition to these really interesting pioneering moves in the fashion world, the whole landscape has been dramatically altered because of social media. Over the last couple of years on social media, we've seen the really rapid rise and fall of multiple trends, and it seems like they're getting faster in their rise and faster in their fall each time. The time between like the double knee thing with Jordan starting when it peaked and sort of where it is now, was a lot longer than later on when Gorbcore became a thing, like it became really popular very quickly and sort of leveled off really fast too. This is well documented on social media and people are starting to say that there really isn't much of a trend cycle anymore because it's a perpetual cycle. Like the trend cycle has become so fast that it's collapsed in on itself and there just aren't really trends the same way anymore. People are using terms like core core to describe what's going on on the internet with various kinds of trends right now. This is why it's not as easy as just pulling from one specific aesthetic to try to adapt that to your style anymore. You really have to be creative. So when it comes to dressing in 2023, I think this is the year of individuality. If you have had a crazy idea for how you want to dress, something very interesting, inspired, new, this is the year to go for it. I've actually started doing this. I bought myself my first skirt ever. I love it. It's super fun to style. And it feels like it's the right time to do that sort of thing, to make that sort of big move to do something you've been wanting to do and try it out. And it's been paying off really nicely for me already. So whatever thing you've been wanting to go for, I would encourage you to do it. And this seems to be the year where that's gonna be accepted and encouraged. And I think the coolest outfits of the year, the coolest looks, the coolest aesthetics, are gonna be the ones that are authentic to someone and sort of innovative, sort of new. The popularity of the big red boots cemented that idea for me. I think it's gonna be an absolute principle this year. If you just heard me say all that and you're sort of thinking, I don't have like a huge leap forward I was planning this year, don't worry, I think you're in good shape too. If you already have a very well-established aesthetic, I think it's the perfect time to focus on that and refine it further. One great example on the internet is Edgy Albert. I watch his content, I think he does great stuff. That dude is entrenched in classic style. He has the straight cut jeans, he's got the button ups, it's all tucked in. It looks super cool on him. It's not a huge leap forward, it's not this wild new idea. It's classic and he does it really, really well. So to take your style, whatever it may be, and refine it until it really represents who you are and what you love about how you dress, that's a wonderful thing. Conversely, if you're not sure of your style yet, if you don't know how you want to dress, if you don't know what direction you want to move into, I think it's the perfect time to try something new and make some small steps in that direction. One of the best uses for trends in general is to use them to inspire your fashion. I talked about this a little bit already, where you pull some things from the trend and you try them out. This is the time to think about something you saw that inspired you, an aesthetic that you really are drawn to, and maybe try picking up a new piece from that aesthetic or adapting something you already own to try it out and see how it suits you. I predict that this year will be remarkably welcoming of people experimenting and trying new things with their style. So if you do something that is something you've been wanting to do, and even if it doesn't work out for you, I think it's still gonna be perceived as pretty cool because it's still a leap forward for you. And regardless of what other people think, it's wonderful to try out new stuff and see what works and what doesn't. If I had to pick a few pieces to buy this year to sort of represent what I'm saying and carry me through the year with a good sense of style, I would say they'd be statement pieces. I think because of all these trends the last few years, people have their basics sort of dialed in. I think a lot of people have good pants, shirts, base layers, things they can build off of to make incredible outfits. So as I go into this year, the things I'm keeping an eye out for are really cool jackets, cool jewelry, new hats, new shoes potentially, some bags, things I can put together with the basics I already have to elevate them to a new level. And yes, some things like skirts, I might pick up a cowboy hat, things that I haven't tried before that I've wanted to, it's the time to do it. 
So in summary, I think that 2023 is going to be the year of individuality in fashion, of finding your own taste, of refining your taste, or of trying something totally new. It is the perfect time to audition that style move you've been wanting to do, but just haven't for whatever reason. Let me know in the comments if you have an idea of what new style moves you're gonna make this year. I'm really interested to hear about it. I think we'll see some really cool moments in personal style as well as the overall fashion industry this year. It's heading in an interesting direction. You can stay up to date with my own fashion experimentation here on YouTube, on TikTok, and on Instagram. It's at Treedful, T Reed FL, on everything. I also write about fashion and other things in life on Medium, so definitely check that out. I hope that was informative and helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. If you want any more videos about this, please tell me. Thank you for being here, and as always, have a great day.